Hey everyone, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for us to take a look at Season 5 Mastery Pages. Now, Mastery Pages into Season 5 actually haven't changed since Season 4, but it's always good to take a look at your Mastery Pages, and especially if you're not exactly sure how you should have them set up. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at pretty much all of the roles that cover things really well. Let's start things off in the bot lane and take a look at our AD Carry page. Now, this is actually a pretty generic page. It's 21 in the offense. 9 in the defense, and 0 in utility. Now as for the offensive tree, there's only one thing over here that maybe be a little weird, is we put one point actually into Frenzy. The attack speed you gain from those crit hits help you out later on in the game, and it's going to be a helpful point. Now the one people usually put a point in is Double Edged Sword. Not that it's bad, but it is risk reward since you will be taking additional damage for having it. So if you want to play a little bit safer, put that point into Frenzy. As for our next page, we actually have another page for AD carries, except for this is for AD casters. Now, AD casters are champions like Corky and Ezreal, champions like this. What this page does is it actually has 21 in the offense, six in the defense, and three points in utility. Now, over in utility, we get those little bit of points put into our mana regeneration. Those extra pokes from our attacks, since we're using a little bit more mana, since we want to use our abilities, the mana regeneration helps you with a few more like mystic shots. That might get you the control of the lane and might actually help you win out overall. That little bit of mana regeneration can go a long way. We do change our points up just a little bit over here to help us because we're casting more abilities, but overall it's a little bit different, but still helpful for those AD casters. Next, we're going to move on to our supports. Now, this page is called Support Class. Classic. Now, support classic are for your champions that are kind of your classic supports. Champions like Sona, Soraka, and Janna. Champions like this. What we do is put zero in the offense, nine into defense for a little bit of durability, and then we focus in the utility tree with 21 points. We make sure to pick up everything that helps us with our gold. That is going to be very important to help us buy items that are support items that help the team overall. This is Wards, this is Mikhail's. This is Locket of the Iron Solari, items like this to help the team. The next page we're taking a look at is called Support Caster. Now, Support Caster is a unique role for supports where you're playing a support that deals lots of early game damage. These supports can be anyone from Annie and my personal favorite, Zyra. What you're gonna do is you're actually gonna put 10 points into offense because you want a bit more damage to contribute to early game damage and harassment, zero in defense, and 20 in utility. Over in utility, we still pick up important points with gold, which is very helpful for acquiring more support items and some damage items. But what the real thing you need to pay attention to is the fact that you have no defense. You will be very squishy, so you cannot get caught or you will die. And our final support page for the last page for our bot lane is what I call tank support. Now my tank support page is actually a 0, 16, 14. We still pick up a little bit into the utility tree to help us with early game gold, helping us buy the items that we want at level one, but we focus on having points in defense. This is good for champions such as Braum, Alistair, and Leona. They wanna get in and tank that damage, and these points allow them to do that a little bit better. Now I threw a page here in the middle, don't know where exactly to put it for what lane, but I like to call this my hybrid page. It's a little bit oddball and really only works for a few champions, but it's 25 in the offense and 5 in the defense. Now hybrid page, I like to claim that this is for maybe Akali, perhaps even Teemo. I can use it also on Jax and a few other champions like Kale and a few others maybe, but it's mostly focusing on the part where we're really wanting to deal a lot of all types of damage early on with the 25 in the offense also helps us scale and having a little bit in the defense, but not too much. Like I said, it's pretty specific for just a few champions. Next, we move on to the jungle. Now this first page is for your AD junglers. And what our AD junglers are, are champions like Pantheon, Kha'Zix, Rengar. Champions that like to deal damage early on in the game. What we do is we put 21 points into offense, picking up a lot of damage and a little bit in the defensive tree. We actually stray away from the things that actually help us with monsters. We're not worried about that. We have damage to kill them in the offensive tree. What we want with those points in the offense is to go out and kill people early with early ganks so we get ahead, we stay ahead, and we continue killing people as we end the match. Moving forward from there, we have our AP jungle page. Now our AP jungle page works specifically mostly for like your Elises and your Dianas and a few others. Now if you're playing Fiddlesticks, your page might be different. And same with a couple others, you might just run tank pages depending on the champion. Now what we do with our AP jungle page, 21 in the offense still, we actually still want damage over there. And we have things all across the board. Make sure you take a look at this um, closely, pause the video, see where you want your points. We have a few things over here that deal with you know physical damage and attacking and dealing spell damage, but that works really 
really well in the jungle. Then over here in the defense, we do put the points over there to help with durability. We want that tough skin on our AP dealers in the jungle. It just helps them out a little bit more. And then still a couple points over there to help you out as the game progresses. And our final jungle page is going to be what I call Tank Jungle. Now, Tank Jungle is for your tanky junglers. Obviously, this can be helpful for just the big guys, your Nautiluses, your Maokais, your Rammus, people in the jungle that you're gonna be building tanky. Now, what we do is put zero into offense. We're not worried about that. The big stats here are in the defense with 21 points over there. What this helps us do is stay tanky in the jungle, helping us resist those minions and whatnot. But it helps us progress through the game. So we're tanky early for our team, we're tanky in the mid game, and we're tanky late game. Finally, nine points into utility. You want the longer lasting buff duration. That's gonna help you clear the jungle and hit your level six sooner, which helps you gank better and more effectively. Next, we're gonna move on to our mid lane. This is AD mid lane, your attack damage mid laners. Now, 21 in the offense, standard stuff there. Nine in the defense as well. Nine in the defense, really just some durability early game. 21 in the offensive tree, we're gonna wanna deal damage. We're a carry for the team, we wanna have points that help us with damage, so we put 21 in the offense, focusing on everything that helps us with our AD scaling and things like this. Next, we move on to our AP mid page. Now, AP mid, very similar concept, but a little bit different. We have 21 in the offense, but we focus on picking things that help us with our ability power ratios and ability power. Then we skip the defensive tree, actually, and we move over to utility, and that's gonna actually help us out with a few things. We're gonna get our mana regeneration, a few things there that help us out. And then we also do pick up our runic affinity, which helps us with those buff durations because we should be getting that blue buff and having the increased 20% duration on it helps us out um, just kind of control mid lane and have more dominance there. The other page we have, I like to call it AP no mana. Now, AP no mana can actually be used in mid or in top lane. Um, what this is for is champions that obviously are using ability power items, but they're not using any mana. This can be your Vladimir's and your Katarina's and your Mordekaiser's. What you're going to want to do is put 21 points into offense. Similar over there, obviously, for what we did with our AP mid lane page, who were using mana. We're going to put points over there to help us with our ability power and just damage. Then we actually put those nine points from utility and we slide them into the defense. We don't really need anything in utility. We don't need the mana. We don't really care about buffs. You can get them, but we don't need them for the mana if we're getting blue buff. We want the nine points in defense because that little bit of defense actually helps us kind of just win our lane early on. Since we're not using mana, we usually have more abilities to spam. We're just waiting on cooldowns. So you can actually just kind of stay more dominant by having a little bit more defensive stats. It helps you out greatly. And as for our last page, now it's only technically one for our top lane. We call it tanky top laners. Now tanky top laners range from anything you want to build that's basically going to be going tanky. This could be Renekton if you're building him tanky, um, your Nasus, and a couple others. Now, um, what we do with it is we put nine points into the offense. We want a little bit of damage there. It does help us out in lane when trading, and then 21 in the defensive tree. We really want to just progress and just be a frontliner. We still build damage items potentially, and a couple of them, but we really want some defensive stats. Helps us sit in lane. If we get ganked, we're a little bit safer and as the game progresses and we do group up with the team and push, we can usually be in the front and not just die. Now, if you're playing a full damage, attack damage top laner, just take your AD mid page. But that's a great set of 13 mastery pages that should really get you started incredibly well if you don't have great mastery pages or if you just really are looking to revise some of your mastery pages if they're a little bit out of date. Now, obviously, you can set mastery pages up however you want. These are the way that I just like to set them up and I consult a couple of my friends to really hone these in on how we like to play. Obviously, if you have a different style, you should set the mastery page up to how you like to play. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in to more helpful videos in the future.